Have you been playing this game for a long time now and you just can't seem to improve? Well, if you want to get out of that funk, this video is for you. Welcome once again to Pool Student Channel and thank you very much for watching everyone. Quick shout out, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I have a lot of new subscribers that have come on recently and I really appreciate that. Now, let's get to the meat and potatoes of this video. This is an important video, probably one of the best ones I think I've, I've made. It's going to help you, those of you that are stagnated in your game. So many players, I know this for a fact, reach a level and they just don't seem to get much better than that. Well, I have found two things that are the most crucial part of your game and I'm gonna share those with you today because you need to master these in order to get past that funk or that plateau that you're in. So without further ado, I say that a lot, let's get into it. Okay, what I'm gonna share with you right now are the two things that have benefited me most in my game. When I started, I was probably a high 300s player, but within one year, I took my game to over 500, and that's in league play. So let me, uh, let me talk about the two things that I have discovered that has helped me the most. Now, I'm not going to sound like a broken record here. Many of you have seen this before, but I'm going to stress this once again. The first thing that you must learn and get down is your stroke. If you don't have a smooth, straight stroke, Forget about practicing this game. You've got to get that down first. Now, the second thing I want to talk about, I'm going to show you that, is more mental. It's about understanding where the cue ball is going to go. You've got to have a memory. You've got to know the tangent line of the cue ball once it hits an object ball. And I'm going to, dis I'm going to go ahead and shoot a few shots here, and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Okay, here's a, an exercise that I came up with. Now, I have seen also there is a drill that's similar to this, but this is what I use. I, I keep it very simple. I put the cue ball on the spot. I put the one ball at the center of the table, and then I move the three ball around from side pocket to side pocket, and I'm, and I'm trying to hit the three ball. So here, I've used stun to knock it in the side pocket. And I'll show you a few shots, uh, you know, one right after another here so you can get a good idea of what I'm doing. And then I'm going to move the three ball down to that next diamond. And I'm just trying to hit it square in the face to predict what kind of a, a hit I have to make on the cue ball with whatever stun or whatever follow or whatever draw I need to put on it to make sure I hit that object ball, that three ball. And notice, uh, don't try to just glance off it either. Try to hit it square in the face. Uh, use some accuracy here. It's going to give you feedback uh, right away as to what you need to do, and that is going to be helpful for you when you play position in, let's say, nine ball or 10 ball or even eight ball. Excellent, excellent uh, exercise for sure. I kind of I call it around the world. Uh, you know, you're going from side pocket to side pocket, just moving, uh, you know, to each diamond. And I and I will shoot this several times until I'm hitting that ball, like every time. Once you get a feel for it, you're going to know right away. It's not it's not even like you have to aim. It's just a complete feel, and you'll get that feedback, and immediately you'll start to feel the shot. Um, I've been wanting to show you guys this one for a long time, and I know this one's going to be helpful, especially for players that have uh, plateaued and they just, uh, they're just they struggling a little bit with their game. And I guarantee you, a lot of it has to do with the accuracy on their position play. Not only stroke, but position play. So these are the two things that I think are critical in our game. And notice I'm moving it right around here, and now I'm down to that first diamond from the corner. And a lot of the times when I shot this video today, these shots were made in one take. So I've done this enough now where I've got a really good idea of how the cue ball will move with the hit that I'm putting on it. 
I really want you guys to, to give this a whirl and give me some feedback. Uh, let me know what you're in the comment section, what you think of this. I know it's going to be of help to you. Okay, now we're down to the last shot. Let's see. We've got, no, we got the side pocket yet to go yet. Okay, here we go. And we're stunning over. We've got a little draw there on that ball, too. It won't make the it won't make the hit unless you have just a pinch of bottom just below the equator when you hit this stun shot, and then it'll uh, shoot sideways 90 degrees right over there. Okay, now this one here is the granddaddy. This is the most important part of our game. It is the stroke. Those that have watched me before know I shoot this shot a lot. Notice the cue ball freezes when you hit it. That's the important part. Now what you wanna watch for is this right here. Make sure this does not happen. If it does, you're going to have to make an adjustment. Most players don't see the true center of the cue ball and they'll get rotation when they shoot a stop shot. Notice it here. So now I know that's hitting off to the left. I wanna hit just a little more to the right on that cue ball to center it up. You can go to the bottom of the arc of the cue ball and then move up straight up from there and that'll give you that idea where center is. The next shot is just a mini draw. I wanna draw it back to from where I am shooting from. Be very accurate with this. Try to put it right where you're shooting from. And this will show you that your stroke is straight. If you don't have a straight stroke, you will not be able to bring it back to that spot. Now, ultimately, it's the long draw back into the corner. There ain't no lie on this one. If you do not stroke this straight, you will not make it in the corner pocket. These two shots are going to be instrumental in helping you to get a better stroke and a sound stroke. So I hope this helps you guys. Give them a try. I know it will. Thanks for watching. Leave some comments in the comment section below. And like I always say, Keep on practicing.